So welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I am coming up with a new tutorial on 3D modeling props in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So I am creating this tutorial on viewers request and this is for beginners. So let's get started. So very first of all what I will be doing, let's go into file, view image file. Let's open up a reference over here. So let's take a reference. So I have taken reference of the props. So we'll be just modeling this props in two parts mostly. We'll complete it. So let's get started. So you can start up is like let's take a plane. So this is for beginners. Let's go over here. First, let's create this kind of a barricade. How we can create this barricade? For that, <coughs> let's go over here. Let's take a line tool. So I'll just go over here and I'll just take a line tool over here. Let's take a line like this. Like this. Like this. So I'll just create a line, something. Let's go into the vertices. I'll slightly shuffle this down. Let's go over here slightly just push it inside select this and we have an option over here called fillet so let's just assign a fillet over here <coughs> so you can assign a fillet <coughs> I'll slightly shuffle this up after assigning this fillet now I'll just go over here go into rendering Enable in viewport and I'll just make this as rectangular. Slightly reduce its width over here and I'll slightly increase its length. So you can just increase this stuff in this way. Push it in this way. So I'll just scale it down like this so convert to editable poly let's resize this so this is going to be a bit down over here let's take a box over here let's create a box let's just drag this box a bit behind over here convert to editable poly select this slightly give a bit of extrude over here in this way that's it so we can just support this like this let's press shift and make a copy of it So I'll just push it over here and let's just give a color to it. You can just save this. So you can just go into this and let's save it. Name it as props1. Okay. Now uh, let's start modeling this stuff. So very first of all, let's take a box right from the top view. So I'll just create a box over here. Slightly just shuffle this down. And if you want, you can model it from top of it. Or else, I'll just take another box over here. I'll slightly just push this up over here and increase its height of it that's it so let's convert to editable poly just click over here 
roots are like the polygons, slightly just inserted, very less. And extrude a bit. That's it. Alright. So if you want, you can slightly just extrude a bit out a bit select this edge and let's give a bit of chamfer to it so you can slightly assign a bit of chamfer select this let's go over here select the edges and let's give one connect so I'll just assign one connect over here. <coughs> After that, we have few details. We can model those details. So let's just take a box over here. Drag it out. Scale up it. So convert to editable poly, select the edges and let's give a bit of chamfer, let's click OK, so drag this over here, so definitely if you want you can just create something over here. So I'll just scale this. Can put one loop over here. Can put one loop over here. So select this, push it inside. Select this edges. Over here, in this way. So select the polygons and slightly just extrude it inside. So drag it over here. Scale it over here. Select the vertices and let's rotate it slightly. And copy this down. So you can take multiple copies as required. So the same way, I can do it over here also. So let's just put some loops. So select the polygons and slightly just extrude it inside a bit over here. Let's just select this all and let's duplicate it. So let's create a handle. So I'll just save the file once again. Let's again take a line tool. Let's go over here. And let's off this. So just drag it in this way. So push it up it inside over here. 
All right. Animal in viewport. Make it as rectangular. And reduce this to very less. So slightly we can increase it. So this is going to be your handle. I'll just resize it and I'll slightly just drag it down as required. And if you want you can increase it more reduce the width also if needed all right now let's again go over here let's take a cylinder let's create a cylinder slightly increase its radius convert to editable poly select the polygons let's go over here and let's give a shell modifier so I can slightly assign a bit of shell over here, convert to editable poly, now select this edges, ring it, control click on the polygons and slightly give a bit of level by local normal so let's give a uh, student bevel over here a bit so we have just assigned the extrude over here so you can just select again the faces and give a bit of bevel let's click ok so now what I can do over here is like I can just go over here and we can make the stand by taking a box over here so let's just create a box so let's select a box create a box and I'll just scale it convert to poly and let's add some edge loops so select the edges and let's give connect slightly adjust this over here and let's give the loops select the polygons extrude it slightly adjust the polygons push it a bit up go into this front view select the vertices and slightly adjust it scale it if required over here so I'll just push it up a bit and just slightly push the vertices down select this and let's make a copy of it so we can just make a duplicate of it over here all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial.